Hello guys, welcome to another video, so uh, let's get started. As you can see, I am on the python.org page, okay? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install this uh, awesome language, which is Python, okay? So, uh, first of all, you need to go to downloads. I'm going to click on the Windows, okay, because we are... I'm a Windows right now. We're going to click on Windows. And there are a lot of files that you can as you can see right here, okay? These are very recent files. But uh let me see the version that I am currently using. I'm currently using this Python 3.6.2 version, okay? Uh okay, let me see. This okay is this file okay so as you can see we have different files we have this web based installer I strongly recommend that you download this uh, file right here okay which uh, sorry this file right here because uh, you can install uh, on your computer and in other computer computers as well okay it is the Six uh, x eighty six uh, for the sixty uh, sixty four version. Okay, so it works on uh, thirty two and sixty four bits. Okay, so uh, after you download this file, you need to install, and there are some tricky things that you should know about the Python installation. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this file. It's going to ask me. But some things I have this installed on my computer, and I'm just I'm just I'm gonna just uh, okay I'm just trying uh, I don't I can't start right now. I'm trying to click on modify. Okay. Uh, okay. As you can see, I can't show you exactly how this is gonna work. But uh, as you can see. Yeah, it's because I already have this installed on my computer, so it's kind of a, a mess up thing because the Python when when open again, it knows that I have this uh, Python installed on my computer, so it's gonna ask me to make some changes, okay? But the thing is, you need to make sure that you uh, install this idle ID or uh, uh, write code. And pip, which is the Python index package, okay. This is uh, this will allow you allow you to download Python packages, okay. I'm gonna click next right here, okay. As you can see, uh, uh, in the first installing, okay. I'm just gonna close the Windows, uh, the Google Chrome, okay. Uh, when you first open this file on your computer, you should click on custom install. Uh, listen carefully. You need to click on custom install. And I recommend that you check up uh, mark of this checkboxes, okay? So, as you can see, I have Python on my environment variables, which allows me to uh, run Python through the, the comment prompt, okay? So, that is pretty much all that you need to uh, install Python, okay? Uh, so, after that, I'm gonna cancel this. You can open the terminal. I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? So, this is the terminal. Uh, sir, this is the run window. I'm, I'm just gonna type cmd. And this is the comment prompt window, okay? So if I type here Python, I'm gonna open the Python uh, uh, inter interpreter, inter okay? This is because I installed Python, I have installed Python within uh, the variables uh, environment, okay? So Python knows exactly what I need to do this. Uh, it is very important that you install this uh, in this way, okay? So, this uh, I can run some Python code right here, as you can see. I'm just gonna run some 
Python code just for sake of okay print e plus oh sorry i plus us i versus i or r is multiplication i okay i think you get it okay so this is the result okay so this is uh, we can run code with the comment prompt but i don't recommend that you do that okay but if you create some python file and execute execute this file it's going to open up with the comment prompt window okay or uh environment so let me just uh, show you the other things that you can you can do okay i'm just uh, gonna uh, drag this uh, thing which is the command prompt but uh, I'm gonna talk about this, uh, about this in later on okay so I have this ID which is came comes from came with uh, Python okay when you install Python okay so first of all let's talk about the command prompt why I have the command prompt on my desktop okay uh, I just have this because I need to run this as in a, uh, as a demonstrator, okay? For installing packages, okay? This is very important, okay? So just keep it in mind. Uh, you need to run the, the comment, comment prompt as a demonstrator to, to have the privilege to run the pip command, okay? So I'm just gonna show you how we install packages on Windows uh, by this uh, way, okay? So just uh, run pip install and the name of the package uh, from the internet, which it has to, which he needs to be uh, a name, okay? But you can actually install uh, Python packages by some wheel files, okay? So I'm just going to run this and hopefully we're going to some uh, installing window. When this is running, okay, I'm going to open this other uh, program, which is the IDLE, okay, which is pretty much an NDE, basic ID for programming in Python, okay? So you can actually use this for programming. Okay, I already have requests installed on my computer. Okay, so I get nothing. So here is the idle. I can, we can run code right here. Okay. Uh, okay, we can execute code right here. That is okay. That's good. Okay. I also have journey, which is ID, which I think is more, uh, it's more cool but sometimes i use this okay so let me think a little bit okay some some of you some of you may be wondering oh this guy talks too much where's the code show me the code uh, be patient guys because i'm gonna show you a lot of stuff okay i just need to uh go through uh, smoothly because uh as i said before it's gonna take a lot of explanation to to show you exactly how uh, the things that I can that I can I wish I can do. Okay, so this is how you set up Python on Windows. Okay, uh, probably I'm gonna use uh, Python on Ubuntu for some stuff because I don't know. Probably Windows some packages may not work uh, or may not be installed on Windows. Okay, so that was the video, guys. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? This is, this is very important for you because you can receive my videos. You can just uh, check uh, or confirm uh, the uh, notifications for my channel and you can receive my videos when I release them, okay? So that was the video. I hope you like it. See you later.